to your birthday, you get to lick this all by yourself. You got you got a little on your nose there, sweetheart. <gasps> Guess what we're doing today? The dogs are like, we are trying to steal all the ingredients because that is what we do. Today, you guys, we are making a birthday cake for Miss Eleanor, who is turning two years old. So last year we didn't get the chance to make her a birthday cake, so technically this is her first birthday cake that's just for Miss Eleanor. So today's cake is going to be dun, 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 a chicken and apple birthday cake. Everybody wanted me to make an apple birthday cake for Eleanor. We're gonna make a chicken apple birthday cake. But real quick, before we even get into making the cake, <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna come over there and steal some stuff. There will be a link down in the video description below. The 2024 calendars for Gone to the Snow Dogs are available. Now they will be shipping in early December. They are potographed. This is the first time we've done potographed calendars and I'm super excited about it. So if you wanna get a calendar, there will be a link down in the video description below. Let's get to making a cake. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat your oven to 350. So we have our bowl. I am using my mini spring foam pans. I will put some affiliate links to some of these things down in the video description below so you guys can get these things. Oh my goodness. So I am starting off with ground chicken. Now, if you wanna use a lean ground beef or a turkey, you could also use that, but we're making a chicken apple cake, so we need chicken. But because I have to add all of these other ingredients, I'm gonna put the chicken in last, because otherwise the dogs are just gonna try to eat all of it. You're gonna push everything off the counter! Okay, let's go. Yeah, pause, pause down, pause down, back up. Back up, ma'am, ma'am. She's like, it's my birthday. I can do whatever I want. So the first thing we're going to add to our bowl is, I already forgot. So the first ingredient we will be adding to the bowl is a half a cup of instant rice. You can use other rice. I'm using instant rice because it seems to help bind the cake the best. Uncooked rice. No, you don't want to eat this. It's uncooked. i sorry, it's uncooked. We're going to put it right in the bowl. Don't eat that. What do you think, Eleanor? Do you want me to add something next that you can actually try? How about one shredded apple? Oh my goodness. So we're gonna shred this apple real quick and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the bowl. Although everybody's like, can we just eat that apple? Check out this movie magic, shredded apple. We're gonna put it in the bowl. And now they're really gonna wanna eat it all. Oh man, birthday girl, look at that. An apple for you. Nice and crunchy, good one. Okay, apple for you. Thank you for chewing. You're not supposed to be all the way up here, but apple for you, good job. Ah, ah, get out of the ingredients. <laughs> you want another apple? Here you go. Yeah, another apple. Memphis is like, I'm taking a carrot. Here, you had a carrot, so I'm not giving you another piece of apple. All right, let's get this moving. So the next ingredient we will be adding is about two tablespoons of shredded celery. Optional, we had it. My dogs like celery, we're gonna add it. Into the bowl, the celery goes. Celery bite, celery bite, and celery bite. Memphis is like, eh, hey, I don't know how I feel about celery. No? Okay, back in the bowl it goes. What are we adding next? We're gonna add one whole egg. And what did I have? I had duck eggs. So we're gonna add one duck egg. You can use regular eggs. The next ingredient is a quarter of a cup of breadcrumbs. This is gonna help hold all this cake together. You could actually substitute this for flour as well, but breadcrumbs works pretty good. I know, they're gonna go into the bowl. Kira's like, just let me try it. Uh -uh. Good girl, leave it. Good girl. She's like, but I could totally take it. The next thing we will be adding is one tablespoon of fresh parsley. Yeah, you think you wanna eat that? It makes your breath smell good. All right, let's put that into the bowl. Next, you don't have to add these. I wanted to add them because they were this nice, pretty orange color. Would you like a carrot? We're gonna add a couple of carrots. There you go. So I just have a little dish here with some carrots in it. You could use shredded carrots. I just had round ones, so into the bowl they go. Stop trying to thief the ingredients. I know it's your birthday. The next ingredient that we're gonna be using is a quarter of a cup of homemade bone broth. This is the bone broth that we made. I actually have a video for this, which I will put down below. If you do not have bone broth, you could buy some from the store, make sure it is dog friendly, or you could just use water or you could use like coconut milk. Basically, we just need a little bit of liquid in this recipe. So we're gonna take the homemade bone broth, 
put it right in there. Yeah, you think so? Oh, you wanna lick that bowl? Oh, I bet you do. I bet you do. You wanna see how Memphis? Memphis is like, yeah, boom broth is the best. I almost made turkey cake. I accidentally grabbed my ground turkey out of the fridge. Now I have the ground chicken, chicken. We are going to add the ground chicken to the bowl. We are gonna use one whole pound of ground chicken. Or like I said, you could use turkey, you could use lean beef, any type of meat you want. We're basically making a meatloaf cake. You ready for this? It's going into the bowl. So now we have all the ingredients in the bowl. The birthday girl's trying to eat them all. You think you're gonna eat them all. Now we gotta mix all these together, which you can do with a spoon. It's much easier to do by hand. Just make sure you wash your hands a lot, which we do anyway when we're making dog treats. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this together. Look at that beautifulness. Don't even think about it, ma'am. Don't even think about it. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to spray my little pans and I am going to pack this down in there. You can pack it down in there pretty good because this cake will not rise. So divide it in two and pack it into the pans. Then we're gonna put it in the oven. I am gonna get you girls down before I do this though. So we have everything all nice and mixed together. If you mix this together and it's a little bit too wet, you can add some more breadcrumbs or add a little bit of flour. So you're gonna wanna spray your pans with some non-stick spray. I'm using the Pam baking spray. Has always worked well for me. Now we're gonna take this pack it into these two pans. All right, I have both of these packed. I'm getting ready to put them in the oven. I have enough to make a whole nother cake. So I'm actually gonna probably turn this into some little meatball cupcakes for the dogs. We'll see. All right, we are going to put these in the oven for about 30 minutes and then see if they're done. And while we are waiting for our amazing cake to be done, this is a wonderful time to remind you guys that this is a treat, not a meal replacement. Please, as always, feed your dogs responsibly. If you guys would like to see more of our treat videos there will be some links at the end of this video and down in the video description below also if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button click that bell to turn on all notifications so you'll always be notified when we upload a new video happy birthday what do you think are you having fun making a cake all right well now you gotta wait a little bit because the cake's gotta come out then it's gotta cool then we gotta frost it we gotta do all the things still so let's let's uh camera magic look it's done 30 minutes later i think it worked now i gotta let these cool so that we can frost them look at this it's beautiful so it's the next day i ended up putting this in the fridge overnight and now we're gonna turn this into a cake cake we're gonna frost it for frosting i am going to use whipped cream cheese you can add color to this if you want you could also use peanut butter there's a lot of different things you could use for frosting we're gonna go with the whipped cream cheese. All right, we got some frosting on the cake. It's not done yet. And then we have the birthday girl. Do you want to lick the frosting off of the spatula? It's like, no, I wanna eat the spatula. Just, I'm just gonna eat it. There you go, you get that frosting off of there. It says, your birthday, you get to lick this all by yourself. You got, you got a little on your nose there, sweetheart. Topped with a little bit of sprinkles. Now for the candles. I think we did it. There is a birthday cake for Miss Eleanor. All right, let's see what they think. What do you think, Miss Ma'am? Is that a birthday cake? I, I leave it. Oh my goodness, all right, you get a little nibble. Okay. Now we gotta cut it so you can share it with your sisters. She got a little nibble out of it. <laughs> you ready? You get to be first. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this beautifulness in this cake. All right, let's see what she thinks. Yeah, I know, you want it, don't you? Ready? Take it. Says so like, I look at you guys, I didn't take it right away. Ooh, nice chewing. And it's gone. What do you think of your birthday cake? Yeah? Like, that's pretty good. Let's see what my sisters think. Yeah, lick that plate. <laughs> you ready to try it? She's like, oh yeah, give me the cake. Ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Thank you for chewing. She's like, I am a pretty good chewer. It's a two bite cake. Oh, three bite cake. <laughs> I think Kira says it's a win. And last but certainly not least, we have Miss Memphis, whose cake I have cut up into small pieces because we all know Memphis would make this a one bite cake. Okay, here you go. Tell us what you think. See, I told you she'd make it a one bite cake. <laughs> she almost made her pieces a one bite cake. Is it delicious? She's like, whoa, yeah, it's pretty good cake. All right, everybody's looking around for more cake. You want more cake? 
more? She's like, it is my birthday. I should get more cake. Uh, I don't disagree with you there. If you guys end up making this, or as always, any of our treats, be sure to tag us on Instagram or Facebook. We love to see when you guys recreate the recipes that we make. Happy birthday, Eleanor. Say happy birthday. Eleanor's birthday video will be coming up soon as well. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. They're all searching for more cake. Kira's like, hold on, I gotta get a drink of water. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Happy birthday, Eleanor. How are you two years old already? How is that a thing? How are you two years old? Happy birthday, sweetheart. Goodbye, audience.